pregunta, no hay quien ayude a Carlos Pardo, ahí vienen, vean, cuatro filas. Y va a haber bandera blanca, ahí le pegan a Carlos Cuidado. Pardo, no, 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 qué, qué golpe, qué golpe, eso no se vale, eso no se vale, eso no se vale. Carlos Pardo pegó a más de 200 kilómetros por hora contra la barda. Llegó ya las asistencias. Y de lado, ya llegaron las asistencias. Basta. I don't know, I don't think he can step out until he waits till the last second and picks he up the goes again. Goes inside, is Edwards going to oh, no. He turns it. No, no. Oh, and that no. destroyed the front end of Newman's car. No. Edwards will not make it to the flag. Oh, Brad no. Keselowski won this race. Mike. Carl Edwards, he opened it up just a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think uh, this is a hard lick right into the fence. I mean, that car, that wow. looked like Bobby Allison did here in 1987. The catch fence did its job Thank and goodness. the car did its job. Thank goodness we have the new stronger, much stronger safe driver. You're driving down on the inside. You're in that two car. You're leading the race, Jay Sauter. And everything's going fine. You think you're in the right place, doing a good job. All of a sudden, a bunch of cars go by you on the outside. <laughs> and you're so glad to say, roll, roll, what? Whoa, oh, trouble. Boy, the man. two car upside down, over and on to Scott Riggs. It's the big one. Oh, boy, who is that still flipping? Sauter. It was Johnny Sauter. There's not anybody left. I mean, I only see about four or five cars that are coming around through three and four right now that were not in this race. They see Mike McLaughlin in 18. They're still getting upside down people, cars driving under cars. Watch the two car. Cause this. Oh, Mule got into Riggs. It looked like Riggs had to maybe back out of the throttle a little bit because Kenny Wallace's car washed up as they come off the exit of turn two right there, the 48 car. Right here, this is turn two. Kenny Wallace, the 48 car right there. Oh, I think, I don't know. It looked like Shane Mill possibly just got into the back of the 10 car. The 47 car, yeah. Yeah, got into Riggs. Look at that two flipping. Looks oh, like Rusty boy. Wallace's flip in the number two Winston Cup car no. here not many years ago. And when it hit the grass, it even tumbled more. There's Randy LaJoy. Greg Biffle. Oh, Biffle. There's Jay Jay Carrie, Carrie Earnhardt. There's everybody. Jack, Jack Sprague. Sprague, our point leader. And the track's completely Tim Sauter. I all, think we all I, the Sauters. I think we did the right thing by saying who wasn't in it. And because the tracks. Earnhardt on the inside and Sterling Marlin outside. And Ernie going with the Earnhardt down on the inside. That's going to. Oh, he got trouble. Terrible crash. Earnhardt in the field, all torn up. Bobby Allison with a horrible crash here on the front stretch. It has torn out a complete section of protective railing separating it. Alan Kowicki becomes involved. Debris and, and is collecting other cars. There is a lot of debris in the front stretch. Kowicki was involved. Richard Petty, I think. About the sixth or seventh place there. There's Jeffrey Bonat, bam, in the outside retaining wall, and watch as he tumbles down the straightaway. Now, again, right, another car's good truck is going to come along and hit it here. Watch and listen. From Jeff Bonat's, Jeffrey Bonat on board. Listen. One more angle. Then the name of the green car goes down. Here, Kurt Busch go up and they touch the 46 of Rob Morgan. And goes Jeffrey Bodine. The truck comes totally apart. You'll see the motor flying off there on the left upper portion of your screen. It ended up about 300 feet further down the track. One more view. Look how high you got. I've been around this sport since 1960. Push series practice. Mike Harmon hits the wall during practice in turn two, spins down the track, and is hit flush by Johnny Sauter. You can see Harmon there, totally exposed in his race car as Sauter approached. Amazingly, Harmon was uninjured. His race car, devastated. Johnny Sauter's car.
Richard Petty was running in a pack of cars, and he starts the back end starts to go around, and it looks he like tagged. he might have been tagged by, by the ball. car number 73 of Phil Barkdahl, and you can see Petty's car just framing and turning over up against the wall and other cars coming in. There's Barkdahl hitting him as he came by, and the Eddie Beerswall car hitting one of the tires that came off the car. From another angle. That looks like the crash at Darlington years ago, Ned. Fortunately, it was staying on the nose of the car for so long, Ken, so it was not, didn't look like it was really taking hard bounces down onto the pavement. And it dispels some of the energy. You must remind the viewers that these cars are built to take these kinds of pressures. Ernie Urban leads him down, down now. Is he going to win the Winston 500? Jimmy Spencer is second. They come through the trioval. Checkered is waving. Ernie Urban wins, and Rusty spins and gets airborne and flips wildly right at the start-finish line, very reminiscent of his accident at Daytona. Oh, man. That is too bad. Here is what happened. Okay, there's Rusty and Dale Jarrett running side-by-side. Side. Earnhardt comes down on the inside trying to draft Rusty and go right out of the picture, and it looks, there he is. Earnhardt right up on the back bumper of Rusty, and he does touch him. That's and why around he goes. And that's one reason that Dale Earnhardt went down there. That's why he was so concerned, because he touched Rusty Wallace to start this situation, it looks like. And the car overturns about six or seven times, pirouetting on its nose, end over end, side over side, comes to a rest on its wheels between the start-finish line and turn one. He will be credited with sixth finishing position. Here is another angle. Here they come down through there. Jarrett and Rusty Wallace side by side. Dale trying to get down on the inside, trying to go down. And looks like he just touched Rusty. And the car, just like Daytona, started flying. It goes up in the air. I thought maybe it was going to do like Jimmy Spencer did last year mm -hmm. and come back on its wheels, but it didn't. It caught. And here it goes again. There is a huge cheer going up from the grandstand just opposite of where Rusty's car has come to a rest, and we assume that the cheers are... It is a magnificent chess game that is being played here. Oh, trouble. trouble! Ricky Rudd slamming toward the wall! Crashing, rolling over, side over side. Dale Jarrett in the UPS car. There was some talk of whether the team whether the team could switch points. Whoa, whoa, oh, guys, whoa, whoa, oh, oh no, oh my gosh! I have never seen anything like that in my life. He hit that wall a ton. Oh my gosh! Let's take a look. I think you're going to see him get loose the minute he oh, yeah. turns down into the corner. Yeah, and he's just man. And that thing just absolutely. I will guarantee you that impact was well over 180, probably 185 miles per hour. We've already seen 199 or better getting in there going straight. Well, that's a part of the racetrack. Oh, oh I, I can't even hardly watch that. It's a part of the racetrack, but Murray said was a little slick getting in. Kids. Not knowing if Michael changed his line a little bit, got a little too much into that speedy jump. Look out. Just racing, man. That's all it was. Dale Earnhardt started to move down, and, and Elliot Seller was giving him a little bit of room, and here's Kurt Busch already there. That's just restrictor yeah. plate racing. And just thank God. Oh, he's well, either going, oh, right oh, man. He's going, oh, uh-oh. This is when he says, uh-oh, right now. Cause he's he knows he's going to flip. And here it goes, and he goes, uh-oh. And he's got his eyes closed, and it's going, oh. That there is a pretty hard hit. Oh. And thankfully the field had gotten by it at this point too. Thank God he's okay. NASCAR. Once with all the head restraints, just everything about the cars. And this, the neat thing is, is you know he's okay, he throws the steering wheel on the dash. Quickly. But thank God that uh, you can see the tethers holding those yeah. hoods and uh and the deck, deck, deck lid and everything to the deal and, and the and all the suspensions on it. Yeah, this it's you know, that's just a knowing that 
it was going to be tight. He was just moving. Yeah. I'm sure he didn't know that Kurt was there. Kurt wow. didn't do anything wrong by any means. Yeah. Just a racing deal. You hate it that this type of accident yeah. happens in that. But um, and, and it's it's a situation that you never want to see happen. It cost <clears throat> a great race car, cost the car a lot of money. But the bottom line, Robert Yates and Doug Yates are saying our driver's okay. A uh, couple things that ran through my mind watching this. First of all, people want to know why they use restrictor plates to control speed. That's why. At a certain speed, when these cars get turned around backwards, they go in the air. He went around so fast that he didn't give any of the stuff an opportunity.